A while back, I booked a wrestling private with UFC coach and former Division One wrestler and MMA fighter George Hickman at Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA. Hand fighting is a big thing, you know, snapping the guy, moving him to the side, faking the shot, then snapping him down, getting them, them out of position to be able to attack. See how your hand's there? Like that? Yeah. You don't want to be ear to ear. My left hand's here, right? I can put my head like this, like looking into you, but I don't want to be there. Okay. Or if your right hand is here, right, I can control your hand and then my head goes onto my wrist, which is blocking you, right? So when you try to, if my head's here and you're trying to turn in, it cuts off the offense on this side. See how your weight's kind of like back on your heels and he's much lower than you. In wrestling, you always want to be forehead to forehead, same level or lower than your opponent. Even if you're digging up, right? Then you want to like snap him back down. Okay, now that was not a bad shot. Now that you shot, you see how your head was like away? Yeah. I don't think your other hand made it quite to his leg. Nope. Soon as you're there like that, you should be looking your head into his body. Right there, your trail leg came up, but now he's got you in the front headlock. MMA, your distance is further. Wrestling or grappling, I should always be able to touch the mat. I move forward, I make contact. Now I know that if I can touch you, I can shoot. And I remember this from one of your classes, you're saying, Yep. Always reach with the uh, backhand. Yeah, because now backhand, if I yeah. shoot, you have this hand right to block you. But if you reach with that hand, you have nothing. When I shoot now, if I shoot the double leg, right? You went like this a bit. You want to be moving, right? I'm moving however to set it up. I'm lowering my level, lowering my level. I'm going to step because I'm still far away. So as I step, I step and lower at the same time. And then I'm step lower and now I'm lunging. I want to go either straight in or even better down and straight up. Okay. So I'm here moving, moving, moving. I take a step lower and now right from here, I want to shoot up into you so that your weight, when I hit you, puts your weight on your heels. If you can lock, always, always, always lock. Okay. And one other small detail, I lower step and I'm throwing my hands. Just like a, like a jab or a punch, throw in my hands, not reaching. And you can feel my shoulder hit yeah. in, like kind of drive you a bit up yeah. that way, right? Boom, up, my hands attack on your ass. Everyone has a different philosophy, but if I'm, if I'm like this, sprawl, okay? Same thing, sprawl, right? In the deeper, even if I take a step, right? Like this, this is even better, because now I'm way in closer. But as soon as I hit my knee and I've got you, right? You're going to be defending. So this trail leg is going to come up. And like I said, turn your head and look in. Because you're always going to have a much higher success rate at finishing on your feet rather than staying on your knees. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and watch this video here next for my top 10 dumbbell lower body exercises for explosive wrestling. As always, train hard, recover smart and fight easy.